Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I'm just sitting here in my robe drinking my morning coffee, looking sexy as hell as usual. And for those of you who say I don't look sexy as hell when I do these videos in my robe, nobody cares what you think. I didn't ask you shit. Now before I start my little rant this morning, I got a box here. So the kids watching this actually realize that I do know what the hell I'm talking about, about this particular thing. See, it says Letrozole on there. This is a pharmaceutical grade, not underground lab. And it seems to be something that's going on. I'm seeing a lot of questions come up. I'm getting sent questions on this. Uh, I'm seeing it in groups, and it's about teens using aromatase inhibitors, specifically Letrozole, for the purpose of trying to get taller. Now this stems from the fact that these kids have read somewhere that estrogen is what causes growth plates to seal. And in studies on children with a growth hormone deficiency, or I should say teenagers with a growth hormone deficiency who were getting into their late teens and so they're nearing their final growth stage of when they gave them a high dose of letrozole, it seemed to help them grow a little taller. Some of them got about an inch of extra height out of it. And so now we have kids running around talking about, well, I'm going to take aromatase inhibitors and they're trying to take other ones that are milder and weaker, but there's no study showing this happening because of these studies. And there's some problems here. First of all, these studies are done on boys who are short for their age, not due to genetics, but due to a hormone deficiency. And so by lowering their estrogen levels, the Letrozole boosts their IGF-1 for a short time, and then it starts lowering it, by the way, and that extra IGF-1 can seem to help with the, the bones growing a bit, and the lower estrogen will delay, potentially, the growth plate sealing. But, again, this is only studies showing this in children who are growth hormone deficient, and if you're growth hormone deficient, you're going to be IGF-1 deficient. It doesn't suggest at all that someone who is healthy and normal and if you are deficient, go get on your parents. If your parents probably have insurance, go see your doctor and get tested for this stuff. Don't just assume that you are. But there's no evidence that this is going to help you get taller. And someone will say, well, I did it and I got taller. Well, how do you know you didn't just have a normal growth spurt? That's really terrible anecdote. That's not how science works, kids. Because you're supposed to get taller and have growth spurts where you grow an inch in a very short period of time as a teenager or even at 19 or 20, that's, that's normal. That happens without drugs also. So if something happens normally without drugs and you take a drug, it doesn't mean the drug cost it. That, that's a really, really terrible way to look at things. It's really ignorant. And the, the issues that we come into is that something like letrozole, which is the only one shown to actually have done this at all in a study, is that it is very, very powerful. And yes, letrozole is what I use in the past to cure my gyno. And what kids aren't understanding is that in healthy males, it is not estrogen that causes your ephesial plates to seal. It's actually testosterone in boys and it's estrogen in girls. A lot of these studies you've looked at with the rabbits and everything where they've messed with their estrogen, they were female rabbits. They, they weren't male rabbits. And in fact, young boys, we know this because this has happened in certain cultures historically, that young boys who are castrated before puberty tend to grow taller than the other members of their, their social group and tribe into adulthood because they don't start producing testosterone. It's overall lower sex hormones in general that can let someone get taller. And I don't see any of you guys talking about castrating yourself to gain an extra inch of height. But here's the other thing to consider. I think if you start taking letrozole at the doses they're talking about, you're going to feel like you were castrated. I mean, a lot of these teens go, I'm just going to take this, I'll take this because it's cheap. Because Letrozole is cheap. It's readily available anywhere in the world, pharmaceutical grade. Even in the U.S., it's not restricted enough that where people are going to get in trouble for it. It's stuff like that, you can have like a 90-day supply and not get in any legal trouble even without a prescription. Well, the problem is the side effects of Letrozole. They're talking about 2.5 milligrams a day. That's a full one of these pills in a study. I can tell you the only time I've ever taken a dose of it that high was to cure gyno, and it works like within two weeks. But here's your problem. If you're taking letrozole at those doses, 
it's going to crash your estrogen levels to nearly zero. I won't even get into the long-term health effects of that, but let's talk about the short-term side effects of having your estrogen levels crashed to nearly zero. Number one, you're not going to be able to get an erection most of the time. You're going to have zero sex drive, so any of you younger guys who've got a girlfriend or you're interested in girls, don't worry, that's going to go away. You won't be interested in girls at all for a month or two. And even if you do happen to get a couple of them together and try to get a threesome going, guess what? Your cock's probably not going to work. It's going to stay like a limp noodle. You're going to have to deal with throbbing pain in your bones, throbbing pain in your joints for a month or two. Because if you're on it for a month and then you come off, letrozole has an extremely long half-life in the system. It can take three to four weeks for it to even clear your system after you come off of it. So you're going to deal with all that. You're going to have to deal with the night sweats. You're going to have to deal with reduced gains in the gym because you need estrogen for that. And then when you look at it and you're talking about someone who doesn't have an actual issue, you may hinder your growth because letrozole boosts testosterone and it lowers estrogen and it does lower gains. And you guys don't seem to understand that estrogen is important for your gains. So you're going to boost the hormone that in males causes the growth plates to seal. It will, after a short time, start lowering IGF-1 production, which will slow down bone growth. Low estrogen levels will slow down dramatically bone mineralization, which means adding calcium and magnesium to your bones, which you need to make them denser and bigger. So low estrogen levels are going to slow that down. So if anything, if you are in the normal healthy hormone ranges, all indications are that you're going to get a lot of terrible side effects and you may slow down your actual bone growth for a short period of time. And you might accidentally seal your ephesial plates anyways because high testosterone levels in teenage humans can actually seal your ephesial plates and stop you from growing. So it really just seems like a silly idea. It's one of those things that looks like, oh, maybe this might be a good idea on paper, so I'm going to try it. But the reality is you're probably doing more harm than good. So it's really silly, guys. I don't see why you guys are doing this if you don't actually have a growth hormone deficiency. And if you do, your parents probably have insurance. Go see a doctor and get on some proper prescription stuff under the care of a doctor that's guaranteed to work. All right, guys. So that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.